uh, Chris, on the podcast that we just did recently, you talk about how 2017 was um, difficult and hard. And one of the things that you mentioned was all of a sudden people are wanting me to speak about everything. And I think right now we live in a culture that says if you're not speaking about it, you don't care about it. And I don't believe that to be true. And I don't think you believe that to be true either. But can you give us a little wisdom of when do we speak and when do we stay quiet? For sure. And I mean, it's a it's a big thing, you know, and I, I'm such a public advocate for uh, abolishing slavery. So, you know, there's there's things I'm speaking about. I'm speaking about the gospel very, very publicly. But I, I remember that season where it, literally every single day I was either getting an email or a text or a notification that I should be speaking on subjects that I had never gone to school for. I don't know all the nuance involved in all the subjects. And because I run a global organization, I'm like, Okay, I have offices, whether they're church or A21, in 18 countries of the world. If I make a statement about every political issue, every social issue that is important in each of those 18 countries, um, I would actually literally not have enough time in a 24-hour day, in a seven-day week, to do anything else but make comments about all of these things. So then you, I have to explain to people, well, so you're saying because this is a big issue in your nation right now, um, what is my response? And you think because either I'm a Christian communicator or you know I have some kind of perceived platform, here is the deal that, and Jamie, this is how I have to come before the Lord all the time. I didn't build my platform. The Lord has given me a degree of influence. Therefore, I am to steward what God has given me. So God is the one that I have to go to to say, what should I be speaking about or not? Because if I listen to man, just in my own life, I have staff, offices, operations in 18 countries of the world. It is not, God did not send me to make political and social and economic and ethical statements about issues going on in 18 countries of the world. And so if I say something because it might speak to something, maybe that's going on in America right at this moment, the thing that I'm saying could be the total antithesis of what would be relevant in Thailand right at the moment and this very same time or in Bulgaria or in South Africa. Um, and so I'm putting things through all of those lenses. The people that are pulling on me um, to say, you must speak out about this or you... They're only looking at it through their one lane, their one lens, and that that doesn't diminish the validity of that issue. But, you know, imagine if I said every day, why are you not speaking out for what's happening to children in this city of Thailand or women in this city in Romania? Well, I'm advocating for that all the time through the work that I'm doing for A21. And I think what we have to do is get back to the place where we know what the Lord's called us to do. And um, that that is the thing that we do. And you're always going to have to navigate the tension and the crowds have always been everywhere where there's always going to be one third of the crowd that thinks you're not saying enough one third of the crowd that thinks you're saying too much and one third of the crowd that couldn't care less so you have to basically go <laughs> um what does god care mm -hmm. and what is very very important because to everyone their issue is the main thing i could say for my for me my main issue is abolishing slavery everywhere forever. Why is not every human being and every Christian every single day tweeting and Instagramming and Facebooking and Snapchatting about this issue because it's my issue? Well, I wouldn't have friends for very long <laughs> because it's like I cannot put what the Lord has asked me to do on everybody else. And so um, I think the big challenge is to do what God's called you to do and not have to shame people for not doing or being what God's called uh, them to do. And so um, it takes a lot more courage and strength to stay pure in your heart, in your lane, fix your eyes on Jesus and do what he's called you uh, to do, say what he's called you to say, because there, there are times when we should speak out, 100%, absolutely. And there are other times when we need to be quiet, 100%, absolutely. So you better be led by the spirit um, in order to do it, because you can be a man pleaser when you're being loud as much as you're being a man pleaser when you're scared and not saying anything and you're being quiet because sometimes we're say, st saying things that are outside of our realm of influence the bible says god's given us a field and a realm so i could be yelling and using all of my social media platform to yell about an issue that the lord has not graced me to speak about mm. 
And I'm telling you, it would have zero effect. Mm -hmm. It would have zero effect because the Lord's like, you know, knock yourself out. I never told you to say anything. And so that, and yet when I can make a statement about the thing that the Lord has called me to do, the Lord will take that and carry that voice to where he wants to carry it. Um, And at the end of the day, I want to stay in the will of God more than I want to impress man. All right, guys, that was some truth by my friend Chris Kane. And if you want to listen to the whole podcast episode, go to the Happy Hour with Jamie Ivey and find episode 397, and you'll find her there. And if you want to go back and listen to her other episode, it's from May of 2018, episode number 191. So she's been on the Happy Hour twice. Uh, you guys, thanks for watching today. If you like it, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe. we got more videos for you coming. Bye, guys. 